Hey guys, Captain CA here for Flats Class YouTube. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about a micro bait that gets a lot of big time results in cold weather. That's right, I'm sitting out here by the fire this evening, but I can tell you right now, this time of year, this little salty Ned rig, it gets a lot of big time results for my clients. But if you use it in the right way, you can use it year round. Now I've got a few set up down there at the shop. Let's walk down there and show you what I've got in mind for you. Come on. Hey guys, it's much warmer in here. I was sitting by that fire for a reason. That's right, last night, 26 degrees. As the sun's going down tonight, it's gonna be another very chilly night. So, living just a little bit north of central Florida, that's still pretty doggone cold, and it gave me the idea to do a tip that it's kind of a strategy, not a tip. It's, it's a strategy that the Midwest bass guys, especially the smallmouth guys, have known about for a long time, and that's the Ned Rig. Now, you've heard me do videos on Ned Rigs before, but the Ned Rig can be a 12-month-a-year bait if you use it the right way. Now, my favorite time to use it is right now, wintertime. Negative low tides, chilly water temperatures, especially because the appetite of most of the redfish and the speckled trout and especially the snook is much diminished. So little baits like the TRD ticklers that looks like a shrimp, the little slim swims that looks like a little glass minnow or mud minnow that swims in the back, those are excellent profile choices for this time of year to get bites on those tough, tough bluebird days in those holes. Uh, the holes in the creeks and the holes in the flats, the little bowls and basins that these fish will use as temperature refuges uh, near spring-fed rivers and creeks. And then as the day warms up, especially later in the day, they get up in the shallows and they sit there in that mud and sit still. Well, when you toss a little tiny bait like the salty Ned Rig up there, well, you've got an excellent opportunity to catch these things, especially sight fishing. But I'm gonna share with you a couple of other ways to catch them as well. What you need to understand is there's a special, I'm gonna say delivery tool as far as the jig goes and the rod and reel combo that you're gonna to need to make all of this stuff make sense and work for you. And I'm gonna share that with you next. There are two delivery systems, the jig system that I like to utilize to make these small baits super effective. And there's a couple of different profiles. I'm gonna share that with you in a minute. But the two baits that I like the most is number one, the finesse shrooms. That's right. The finesse shrooms is a very fine wire mushroom jig style that comes in weights of one sixth, one tenth, I believe it's uh, one fifteenth and one twentieth. Now, I use the one-tenth of an ounce the most because I feel as if it's light enough for me to make a decent cast uh, out of a technical polling skiff, and it will get down in those six to eight foot depths in some of these holes in current uh, just fast enough. So it is the ideal weight. Now, there are a few instances where I will drop down to a one-fifteenth, but basically, I think the one tenth is excellent. Now it comes in a number of colors. Uh, you can see right here, the finesse shrooms is, is made by Z-Man. Uh, they're readily available on their website. If you can't find them there, go to sodiumusa.com. It is my absolute go-to for finding Z-Man baits. Go to sodiumusa.com. We'll make sure that we put that in the comments down below. That's one of my favorite, favorite style jigs, especially with the ticklers and the TRD craws and some of the TRD bugs. This is an excellent, excellent head for those. Um, we have some other baits here like the TR, the Finesse TRD, it works well with too. Now, if you're gonna use the Slim Swims or the three inch Slim Swims or maybe the bugs or the TRD craws, one, one jig head that is a little more weedless and you can swim the bait a little bit is these little Finesse bullets. Try those. Those are also featured by Z-Man. It's one of their chin lock series. It does a good job. You can take a quick look at that. You're going to love these. These are fantastic. These pro bullet baits, I mean jig heads, they do a great job. And like I said, if it's a swimming style bait or a grub style bait, something like, uh, I've got one here, like the grubs, 
These are perfect for that style head because if you're fishing rocky environments, places where there's some heavy grass that you're going to get snagged up quite a bit and you're not fishing mud or sand, those little bullet uh, jig heads are going to be ideal for you. Now let's talk a little bit about some of these profiles in detail. Now there are I'm going to say a half a dozen of these profiles that I really like and I think they do a very slick job of fooling fish because remember you're working these baits extremely slow on very light jig delivery systems which means you're going to be using a lot of light leader and it's going to be longer lengths and you're probably going to be throwing some very lightweight braid six and eight pound braid I prefer the Power Pro V2 slick um, that seems to do the job for me, especially on most of my spinning reels. But I can also throw this stuff, believe it or not, if I'm using 15 and 20 pound Power Pro on some of my medium light casting gear and have a lot of success, especially when I'm hole fishing, where I'm staked out on the side of a hole and throw it to them. But I'm gonna go through these really quick. TRD Ticklers, I showed it to you a little earlier. That's gotta be one of my favorites, guys. It's one of those baits that looks very shrimpy. This is kind of an orange green pumpkin look. And when it's bouncing along the bottom on that mushroom jig head or that pro bullets, it looks just like a live shrimp. Uh, this is the TRD Bugs. It's a cool little creature bait. To me, it looks a lot like a crab, some type of crab that the redfish would zone in on. So I not only use it when I'm fishing holes, but I use it an awful lot when I'm sight fishing. And it's a little heavier, denser body, a little better for casting. The little slim swims, it's two and a half inches long. Whether it's cold outside or warm in your fishing dock lights or even the swash channel on the beach, you have this on a pro bullets, you can swim it fairly quickly through a light or down the beach, you can bounce it in that swash channel and you're gonna catch a load of snook on these baits and big speckled trout. The grubs, this is a go-to fishing slow, has tons of tail action with very, very little rod movement. You can get a lot of, lot of fish bites out of that one. Uh, this is another great sight fishing bait for the redfish. I love throwing this in potholes. I love dragging it around the little moats around the oyster bars. It's the TRD Cross. It's a bass bait, but it still catches the redfish. And then probably all-time favorite is a do-nothing bait. This is the Finesse TRD. It's just half a Cinco worm. And this thing lights out, catches most of my fish. Because it has very little movement, when it's cold outside, I mean really cold, those water temperatures drop, you got bluebird days, this is probably gonna be your go-to bait. The Finesse TRD. Those six profiles are gonna put a lot of fish in your boat. Now let's talk about the rod and reel. When you have to deliver a one-tenth of an ounce jig, it's not really just one-tenth of an ounce. Remember, I told you that when you add the weight of the plastic or the elastic in this case to the actual head, it starts weighing a lot like an eighth or three sixteenth. So we'll get down. Now remember, elastic is buoyant. The, the properties of this bait make it buoyant, makes it super resilient to getting chopped in half by fish. One bait typically lasts all day long. And when you look at this jig, you'll see this little keeper on the bottom of the shaft. It does a really good job of holding that bait on there tight. So when I'm fishing crustacean lookalikes or subtle fishing, I fish a lot with this mushroom jig head. So when I'm throwing the TRD craws that we just talked about, the TRD bugs or the finesse TRD, I'm usually throwing that little shroom head into the holes. Now I can throw it on a casting rod that's a five to 10 pound medium light rod. It does a good job. If I'm throwing it on spinning gear, I mostly throw it on these seven foot medium action rods. You know, they, they've got lots of bend in them. Uh, I lighten the braid up. Uh, this particular Vanford 3000 is loaded up with eight pound Power Pro. This is the V2 Slick. Does a good job of allowing me to make a good 75 to 90 foot cast. And when I'm fishing the holes, that's all I need in my technical polling skiff. 
And then I've got a long leader on here. This is fluorocarbon leader. I've got it tied with an Alberto knot. And I've got over four feet of this, line, of this leader, light leader on here. 15 pound fluorocarbon does a good job. It has a low light refraction index. It's very similar to water and it's denser. So it sinks quickly with those light jigs. That's what you're gonna, that's what you're really gonna want. With the casting rod, I basically do the same thing. I'll use a little shorter leader, and most of the time there, I'm doing everything I would with a spinning rod, except for it gives me a few more advantages for close quarter casting. Take a look at this video of one of the redfish I pulled out of this hole in a creek just a few weeks back. Pretty cool video. And it's easy fishing. I mean, it's the closest thing to catching fish in a barrel that you'll ever do. I promise you that. When you're using these pro bullets, that's where I'm really sight fishing. It's head weighted. I can swim it over grass. I can swim it along oyster bars. I can get away with a lot with this particular jig head. Now, typically with that jig head, I am throwing the slim swims. Or, or sometimes I'll, I'll throw the TRDs and make it look like a shrimp swimming. Um, mostly the grubs quite a bit. They're excellent for that type of profile bait. But when would I use that? Well, I'd use that if I were fishing dock lights where you've got all those little fry minnows in those dock lights at night where you can throw into the dark and you can reel it quickly through, through that light. You'd be surprised how many snook you can catch doing that. They want a bait that moves through that light very fast. I do that a lot with bucktail jigs. It works really good with the salty net as well. Well, if you're pulling down the beach or walking the beach early in the morning or later around dusk in the evening and you see the glass minnow pods out there spreading out and spraying everywhere, well, that's when that little net rig works good, especially with that slim swims or that grub. You can work it along that swash channel and you can catch those summer snook on the salty Ned rig. So it's just not a cold water bait. But probably the instance I use it the most is spooky redfish. Redfish that have been very pressured. If you live in places like Charlotte Harbor, Tampa Bay, um, fishing those spooky reds and flamingos sometimes. If you're using the salty Ned, you can catch them sight fishing with this bait because it's so small. The cast and the splash doesn't put them off with artificials like a larger bait would. Just use those little Ned Rig baits. In fact, I had my friend Kevin out, a client of mine, and he did a really good job watching these fish come out of the back of a creek over a small flat before they went into the main creek. And he did a good job catching these fish. Take a look at this. It came right up behind him. I mean, and it's a bear. Good. He came out of the creek there in the back and he came right up and you slid that thing right down his left side and he attacked it. He thought he flushed it. That's all it was. That's exactly right. I'm going to get one close because I'm shooting a little short video on this one. Good Lord. Nice job, Kev. I told you the sight fishing stuff can hook you. It can hook you. And this water is so clear, it's like air. We're probably in what, 10, 12 inches of water? Right. Ned rig fishing. It works. Ned rig fishing works. Pretty cool, huh? Well, once you get a little confidence in these tiny little baits, I mean, they're, they look just like little peanuts to fish. But remember, I was told a long time ago, elephants eat peanuts. And if you want to have a lot of success, whether you're fishing really cold water, negative tides, spooky redfish, dock light fish, anything, you want to catch anything, 
the Salty Ned will do it for you. If you like what you see here on Flats Class YouTube, give us a big thumbs up. It's my job to try to make you guys better anglers. I want to see you guys catch more fish. If you like what you're seeing here, give us that thumbs up and subscribe. Share it with all your fishing buddies. We want you to become a fan. We've got some really cool stuff coming up in the coming weeks. Flats Class Nation. We're actually going to have a Salty Ned Flats Class University on waypointtv.com. I don't want you to miss out on that. We go to the water with this stuff, so I want you to go check that out as well. If you want to watch the show, we have all the episodes on waypointtv.com as well. So become a fan, become a better angler, learn what the pros know, and follow us on Flats Class YouTube. Until next time, Captain C.A. Richardson, signing off.